What's up guys, Manny from Motor Million and in this video today we're going to give you an overview of what we've done on this beautiful SP2. There's a lot of stuff that's going on with this bike and we wanted to kind of give you a roadmap on what's happening. And I think if you probably take a look or if you've seen it, you could realize that we already have our carbon fiber side fairing on it. This is our factory fairing. It's actually a lot heavier. I, I know that the winglet's on it, but the winglets don't weigh that much. When we started this project, the SV2 was already a special bike, but I think it felt like Ducati probably could have taken it to the next step, but maybe they wanted to keep it at a certain price point. And the whole thing was, if you've seen the video, we've, we've done a couple upgrades that are very, very tasteful and very special stuff. Just like our IMA clip-ons that now match our upper triple tree. Yes. And these are the clip-ons. It's almost infinitely adjustable to any bike you want. Your upper, the head of the bike in the front, the, the forehead has to be greased. It's not the prettiest looking part of the bike. And this is just a cover that goes on there. So once we take the triple off to do our handlebars, which I'm gonna show you in a second. This will slide right on there, and then it adds that little detail. The motor corsa parts, the billet parts that match all the other billet parts that are coming on the bike, like these Rizoma rear sets that were already on the bike, and the kickstand. This black piece was there, and this is cast aluminum. Nothing wrong with it, it's just I think aesthetically it's not the best looking part of the bike. And uh, the very expensive exhaust system, and we've cleaned the tail, we've cleaned the front, and uh, we put our Rizoma mirrors on here, and we put our carbon fiber subframe in the front, and we kind of teased you a little bit where we're going with it when we put this front fairing on it. As I said, the SP2 is special. We didn't want to take it away from the DNA because as you guys know, the SP2 is the winter test livery. And to me, I think it's special enough that we didn't have to go like the V4X and make a complete custom livery. And I don't know what you think. You can put it in the comments below, but we're going to stick with the SP2 theme, but we want to make it all carbon fiber because MotoGP bikes are all carbon. And when they do their testing, I think it's all carbon fairings on them anyways. So what we did was we purchased all of the available stickers that go on this bike like this Panigale riding, but some stuff's not available like this red sticker that's here for our front fairing. And what's next is we're gonna take all the panels and take these ones as well to a local graphic shop so that they could apply the stickers that we already have. And if there's anything missing, they could replicate these stickers on it to put on these fairings because at the end of the day, I want this bike to be a full carbon SP2, except the fuel tank, because again, it's, uh, this tank is part of the V4R and the SP series that's out there. We really don't want to change this for the carbon fuel tank. Speaking of carbon, we have our beautiful carbon subframe here. I think this bike really deserves it because this not only saves weight, but it's just a beautiful piece that we could put on it. We'll change our magnesium rear subframe. I think it's magnesium. If I'm wrong, you could correct me. And we put our carbon fiber subframe by full six. Again, this, is, this wasn't available. And one thing I want to mention is, this is not even centered from the factory. I guess we'll call it the Ducati DNA. We'll make sure that when they apply this uh, sticker on it, that this will be centered. We have this Ducati sticker here. So at the end of the day, when you will see the bike when it's done, this will have our beautiful red line over here and we'll have the stickers. So the rear subframe comes with its own challenges to install it on the bike. It is a bolt-on piece, but what's different is our high mount exhaust that we have attaches to the rear foot peg mounts. As you can tell, this does not have rear foot peg mounts because this is a pretty much a race piece. I think the Barney Racing Team has used this on their bikes and we were trying to get some help from them to see how they mounted their high mount exhaust on their bikes that have this. And um, we came to the conclusion that we're gonna to have to make some sort of a custom bracket because as much as we could drill into this, we don't, you can't drill this way because how thin this is, but we'll keep that on a detail on the next episode. And let me show you this beautiful piece that's over here. So this is our complete race belly pan. 
And uh, if you've ever installed the high mount exhaust or if you saw our video where we installed it, we added these plastic pieces that you see right over here to cover up the hole that's left. Full six carbon now makes a piece, well, makes this piece that is complete one piece unit. We don't have to add those parts. And if you take a look, this kind of makes it a lot nicer for us to work with. And also it makes it a one piece belly pan. But if you take a look again, another challenging part for this is gonna be this red that's here. We're gonna to have to get our wrap shop to be able to match this because we, while we have this V4 and SP2 stickers, this does not come as a sticker. So we wanna get that covered. And these, these parts here, I really want them to apply because they're very experienced in wrapping very expensive stuff and very nice stuff. And so we have all of these original Ducati stickers that we purchased that will go back right on it. And if you saw it on a, on a video, these are pretty cool because if you take a look, they actually have a template. So they've made cuts to show you where it's gonna go and how it's gonna go around so that you could apply it in a very nice manner. So now that we talked about the fairings, let me show you the fitment of these pieces. And imagine, so this is not, nothing is bolted on and this stuff really, really matters to me. So look how nicely this will line up here and it lines up right over here. And also we follow this line of the bike over here. So all these details really make up the total bikes that we do over here, guys. And I, I'm really, really picky. If we have to actually, we do make adjustments on these to make them fit correctly, but let me show you something that I've been up to that I haven't mentioned it. I think we mentioned it at the start of the project. I saw one or two comments about it that someone guessed it. And uh, I don't remember the name, but maybe the geniuses behind the, the video editing can maybe find that comment and put it on the screen. But this has been kind of something that I'm debating and I'm still debating if I should do it or not. And please have your say if you should try it or not. But I have purchased a complete brand new swing arm from Ducati. So we sandblasted this and got the, the black finish off of it. It's still very rough. We tried some testing on it to see if it could polish it. It is very porous, it could be polished. But the whole idea behind this was to polish it completely. Obviously we're not gonna leave it polished on the, on the bike. We're gonna to try to match the brushed aluminum finish and do a satin clear coat on it to try to match the tank as much as possible and then what we were going to do was to actually cover most of it with our carbon fiber swing arm cover that we have from full six and let some of that brushed aluminum poke through i don't know what you guys think this is pretty cool um i'll show you some of the test pieces that we did you see this there's no more pores left here the the tricky part about this is this is a lot of work to polish this whole thing just given that how much crevices and everything that there is there. Some of it gets covered by our chain guides and stuff. But um, I think I'm gonna send this to my good friend, Aaron. And if you're watching, uh, shout out to Aaron. Aaron actually has a big tumbler where this goes in it. It's like a big barrel that will shake this and there is media in it. I think some of them is like walnut uh, peels and all that stuff that will polish this down. I have a saying, is the, is the juice worth the squeeze? I don't know if you guys are think if it's uh, worth the squeeze in this case. Let us know, I think it would look really cool, but I also don't want it to overpower the look of the bike. And um, let us know, we're still undecided on this. Maybe we'll save it for another build, but this has been something that I've been dreaming about. And to finish off, a um, couple of things that we have coming up are the brake, there's brand new brake cooling ducts for this bike. And as you know, we changed our Stylema R's to these Stylema calipers up front, which are black and red because I think they should have came black and red from the factory. The only difference between the Style MR and this was just the, um, the drilled caliper pistons, which doesn't make a whole lot of difference, especially if this bike gets used on the road. And also the rear caliper, we changed it to the CNC machine black caliper that's on this side. And uh, that was, again, a black red touch. And everything else that's on top of here, we gave it like MotoGP buttons, because again, this bike's inspired by the winter test bikes that Ducati runs at the MotoGP.
overall, that's a quick glance of what we've done on our SP2 and what we're going to be up to. There's some other parts that I haven't mentioned because I really don't want to go down the whole list and bore you guys. If you want to take a guess at it, take a guess at it. And we do, and I do read all the comments, guys. Maybe I don't reply to all of them, but I try to read as much as comments as possible. And I really appreciate all your input that you guys have. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, guys, have a good one.